what's good youtube today i'm bringing you guys finally my six seven six seven offensive threat build that gets 72 badge points can get contact dunks shoot limitless threes with like a 93 plus three pointer he can also play make yes all the dribble moves can guard the one through five he can guard guards hold the fame clamps hold the fame pick dodger and can guard bigs get intimidated on this build chase downs and everything so we're going to get right into the build first things first that i want to show y'all this is the build that i made since day one if you look it says 11 12 20 november 12 2020 if y'all don't know that's the day the playstation 5 came out that's when i got the that's when i got the game look 756 i got my ps5 like at one o'clock that's how long i was in this building trying to figure out what is the best build to make at first i wanted to make a guard but the way the game was looking it was so much badge points that the power forward made is that i basically made a guard but he's oversized and can do everything just like a guard so first things first if y'all don't know already the player for the position you want to go power forward now i'm gonna get into a whole bunch of other reasons as to why i made the build the way i made it but i went with power forward for my first build because when i was comparing the point guards and the shooting guards to the power forward if y'all know already the power forward gets way more badges than the point guard and shooting guard that's why i get up to like 73 badge points handiness don't matter whichever one you want to do I usually put jersey number five, but I'm gonna put number four. <laughs> I don't know why, I'm gonna just do that. Now for the height, y'all should know already six, seven. Now the weight and the wingspan is very important. For the weight, you wanna go all the way down to 211. You could go 210, 211. I just put 211 just for the more, more of the pounds, like just to have an extra pound, I guess. And for the wingspan, I chose 6'9. The reason why I chose a 6'9 wingspan is because with a 6'9 wingspan, you get a 93 three point shot. Now, uh, the thing about 2K is in order to get a Hall of Fame deep threes, which is limitless range from last year, you need a 94 three ball. So, what I did is I put my wingspan at 6'9 so that I could still have a high ball handle. As you see, it has 85 and I'll still be able to get an 84 speed with ball. And at 96 overall, I'm gonna get Hall of Fame limitless range. And even with gold, I was still shooting limitless threes. I can guarantee you guys that, trust me. For the body shape, I always go with Burley. I just like to have my player look as big as possible. Now, first thing y'all wanna do when y'all make this build is max out the driving dunk. Do that, max out the three pointer, do that max out the speed with ball boom you do this because as you can see the ball handle the mid-range and the driving layup goes up according to what you put up the core or whatever so you do that max out ball handle max out mid-range and for the driving layup you want to go with a 91 after that max out standing dunk so that you get eight finishing badges the reason why I went with eight finishing badges is because I played with a play shot. Last year I did it and the year before I did that. So understand, I wanted to make this player like a play shot, but with better defense and better finishing. So I'm used to having no finishing badges or at most three. So this year I went with eight. And all you really need is posterizer and probably slithery finisher because the dunks in the game are so OP. For free throw, you want to put your free throw up to a 62, and this will give you 25 shooting badges. 25 shooting badges. In comparison to current gen and 2K20, play shots usually get, like, my play shot had 1, 22, 22, and 11 or 12. So, already, as you guys can see, I have way more finishing and way more shooting. And with all of these shooting badges, you're going to be able to shoot like a play shot even though you might be a little bit slower than them and have a little bit less of a three point you still have a 93 you're going to have so much more shooting badges that could supplement for that now the only thing the only thing that's bad about the power forward is two things and the first thing i'm going to tell you guys is that you do not get circus threes now the thing about circus threes is that that's only for step back threes you can still shoot with fadeaway threes with this player regardless so you don't even have to worry about that now for the pass accuracy you want to put it up 
to an 83. The reason for this is because you get Hall of Fame Bullet Pass. You don't have to put it on Hall of Fame, but you still get it. And like this, you're going to have 25 playmaking badges. So you can still put Dimer, Floor General, Quick First Step, Handles for Days, Ankle Breaker, Bailout, Unpluckable. You just have so much badges you can use. And already this build is at what, 58 badge points and you haven't even put the defense up yet. So next for the physicals, what we're going to do, put the vertical up one. If you don't know this year, in order to get contact dunks, you need a 65 vertical, a 65 vertical. I forgot to mention this too. You still get contact dunks on this build, even though you get an 89 driving dunk. You still get pro contact dunks. I still is getting contact dunks with this player. Only difference is at 90 driving dunk, you get the elite contact dunks, which is just more contact dunks. But regardless, you're still gonna have them. And it's only at 90 at 96 overall, you're gonna unlock your elite contact dunks and Hall of Fame deep threes. It's not gonna really take you that long to even get those things. It's not like this build, you have to be 99. All you have to be is a 96. And if you've played 2K before, you know it's not hard to keep on at least a 96 overall up what you want to do now is put your stamina up to a 91 max out acceleration and max out speed now as you can see your speed is an 85 and acceleration is an 81 but remember if you get gym rat or you do your your weekly workouts and plus the 99 overall that's plus eight so if you're a 99 with your weekly workout or gym rat your speed will really be a 93 and your acceleration will be a 90. your stamina will also be a 99 and your vertical will be what's that 65 plus 8 what's that 73 so you're gonna be good regardless now for the defense first thing you want to do is max out the defensive rebound because this someone gives the most badges and as you can see the offensive rebound goes up with it after you do that you want to max out offensive rebound max out your block put your interior defense to a 42 a 42 now right here this is very important right now we're at a 93 overall the, where you put the rest of your points is very important now what i did there's no possible way i can have a max out perimeter defense and a steal and like still have all of these badges so you have to either choose between perimeter defense and steal now for me I would suggest going with perimeter defense. I maxed out my perimeter defense and now I have 15 defensive badges. You could put Hall of Fame clamps, you could put Hall of Fame hot stoppers. So when you get a stop, your takeover will, will go up. And you can also put chase down artist, rim protector, Tyler's defender, rebound chaser. And this build also gets intimidator. That's another thing. A lot of point guard shooting guard builds, they do not get intimidator at all this right here this build right here can get intimidator on gold as you could see where is it intimidator on gold and look you could get hall of fame clamps you could also get hall of fame clamps hall of fame ankle braces hall of fame clutch defender you could get all of that with this build so you guys might be wondering oh your steel is a 25 the thing about me is like there's so much like bad shots like contested shots that go in having a high perimeter defense on a 6-7 build with short arms was kind of important for me i don't really reach that much so steal the steal in the ball wouldn't even really matter and having clamps and pick dodger is important especially if you just want to build that can do all around everything can guard the one through five and also, if you play with randoms or like you don't really have communication with your team, it's important that you have perimeter defense so that you can get pig dodger and be able to ch to run through the screens and things of that nature. Say, for example, you were playing with a team, you don't really need perimeter defense because it's like you guys are going to switch regardless. Like with my guard build, my guard version of this build that I'll be doing a video on later, I actually put no perimeter defense and maxed out the steel and i'll explain in that video why i did that but yeah you're gonna end up with 8 25 25 and 15 6 7 211 weight 6 9 wingspan as far as the takeover i went with 
like I said, I usually play like a play shot. You could ISO and use screens with this build. You could do either or. It doesn't even matter which. You could do either or. But the takeover that I had chosen when I made this build is I put limitless range and I had also put pull up precision. But if you want to, you could put like limitless range and finishing moves and then you could put on hall of fame heat secret so that you could get takeover faster it's really all personal preference but as you can see you have the choices of slashing shot creating sharp and lock takeover you have those choices when you go with this build and as you can see right here you are now called an offensive threat this is how you get the six seven offensive threat build most people have a whole nother name they'll have like glass cleaning shot creator scoring machine i've done seen a lot of different names but i have not really seen offensive threats in this game unless it's like a really small guard so now i'm gonna get into the badges and what badges i run for whichever game mode so for the badges that i run i'll usually have hall of fame posterizer and then i'll probably put bronze fearless finisher and gold slithery or you could change it up or if you want to you could also do something like Hall of Fame Post Rise or Hall of Fame Heat Seeker. Fearless Finisher, you only need it, need it on bronze. I, I, I don't know, because supposedly some people think it's like Relentless Finisher. So in the beginning of the year, I was putting it on gold, but I started to put it down and put Slithery Finisher on. So I probably do something like this or something like this. As far as the shooting badges go, believe it or not, on this player, I didn't even get to max out all of my shooting badges, to be honest. So I was at 21 to 25. I didn't even get to finish all my shooting badges. This is basically the shooting setup that I had on this player and I haven't used this player in a minute because I've been working on my guard but this is mainly like how I had it something like this and then I ha still have four four shooting badges to get for this player but if I was you guys I would definitely put on Hall of Fame blinders I'm letting you guys know Hall of Fame blinders is a really overpowered badge if somebody's to the side of you or behind you they're not even gonna matter the, the shot is going to be wide open but yeah after Hall of Fame blinders you could probably put I heard stop and pop is a really good badge I haven't really got to try it out but you could probably do something like this and see how it works for you Hall of Fame Blinders, Hall of Fame Deep Threes, Hot Shot. Hot Shot is also a very overpowered badge. I literally get my first takeover in two shots and I get my dual takeover in three shots. And you could get team takeover in four shots. So yeah, this is a good badge setup you could use with this build with max badges. And also remember that you don't get Hall of Fame Deep Threes till you're a 96 overall. Now for playmaking, Hall of Fame Quick First Step handles for days i put gold floor general for my teammate my teammates i run bronze dimer i usually put gold bullet passer hall of fame bailout hall of fame unpluckable then you have like two left actually i usually go gold bailout gold ankle breaker and i just run something like that now as far as defense goes when i play on ball i use hall of fame clamps gold intimidator Bronze off ball pest, bronze rim protector, Hall of Fame chase down, bronze rebound, and bronze box. Now I'm going to explain why I run my badges like this. I don't put on pick dodger just for the simple fact that the way this game is, everybody can shoot. So you chasing someone around the screen just makes no sense. It makes the most sense just to switch and just to have a team of good defenders. Pig Dodger is not needed unless you're going to play with randoms and you have no communication with them or you're a 5v5 player where you kind of have to hedge. That's more of a setting where you have to hedge on defense. So the reason as to why I run my player like this, Hall of Fame clamps get a lot of bumps with it. Off ball pets, the reason for this is because once you get a lot of bumps, the guard is going to try to reset. They're going to give it to somebody else. Like say you're on the twos, they're going to give it to their teammate and try to get the ball back. Off ball pets will allow you to stay in their jersey, keep them away from getting the ball and just harassing them even off the ball, which is going to annoy them and drain their energy. And another reason why I run off ball pets is say you're playing threes when you're in the corner, you could you know you won't get back door this easily i run gold intimidator obvious reasons i get contest on bigs 
it makes jump shots harder even though the shot contest system is just something else hall of fame chased down obvious reasons and honestly if you want me to be real with you i feel like hall of fame chase down is a better badge for players that are shorter since they have more speed i feel like chase down complements more for players with higher speed this player only gets a 93 he doesn't get a 94 and 95 plus like the point guard and shooting guard builds i run box because when you switch say the guard shoots you could box the big man the big man could drop get the rebound easy put bronze rebound chaser just so i had the badge and rim protected to allow me to get snatch blocks and things of that nature and this is my player at 97 overall so as you guys can see here i have a 93 driving layup 91 driving dunk i could get this player to 99 but i don't feel like doing all that playing my career when i don't even use this player right now but yeah you at 99 you have a 93 driving dunk 97 three-pointer 99 mid-range 89 ball handle a 98 perimeter defense another thing too is the rebounding stats on this player is something different you can snag with this player believe it or not even though you have short arms believe me you can snag especially if you put on hall of fame rebound ch rebound chaser and i know that because i only use bronze silver and at most i've ever used was gold and i was still snagging even with like bronze so at 99 you're gonna have a 92 defensive rebound a 93 speed because that's gonna go up to 89 plus 4 93 you already know the deal and yeah other than that this build is just overpowered as hell i ain't gonna lie because it's like this is basically like a play shot build that plays great defense and you're six seven you're taller than everybody you can bully people and just go straight to the rack like like to me this is the best power forward build just for the simple fact that not a lot of people have this much scoring in their build this much shooting badges this much playmaking but this is what complements my play style the most if you guys like the build you can make it grind it do that that's the only thing too getting them seven the 73 badges is not just gonna be a light walk in the park you gotta grind for that yeah other than that be sure to follow me on twitter and twitch and also i just made a tiktok be sure to go there i'm pretty sure my tiktok is mr bagwalk yt search that up make sure you go follow me on that and yeah um be sure to like comment subscribe turn on post notifications and i will holler at y'all in the next video